What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this extreme off-road ratcheting trailer jack from ARC. So this is going to have a 10 inch wheel on the bottom, allow you to move your trailer around in those tight spaces with be able to ratchet. You can go forward or backward. Let's check it out. Jack's made out of sturdy steel construction, so it's not gonna rust and grow when you leave your trailer out in the elements. Also, it's been tested for 600 hours of salt spray. Looking at the wheel, you can see the center of it is steel. The outside has a rubber coating that's going to be helping it on different terrains. You don't have to inflate it, so you don't have to worry about getting a flat. It's going to be really good for gravel, dirt, whatever extreme situations you find yourself in. A great feature for this jack is it actually can ratchet. So you're going to have the two knobs here. You see the arrows with the letters, whatever, make sure the letters are facing each other. So right now, we've got F and F pointing at each other you're going to be able to ratchet it forward. So what that means is you add the bar in there. So it's going to line up with that hole. Once you pull the tab on it down here, you line up, it clicks in, and then we can move the trailer. So pulling it down, pushing it up, is going to allow us to move the trailer. Now I'm at an angle right now, so I should turn it this way to show you just go straight back. That's gonna be good for getting into a tight spot that maybe you got your truck pulled in, you're not sure how to maneuver it. It's much easier to do it this way, even with a load on there, to just come up here and move it back into its place. Now you can go back down to the hand knobs and flip them. There's a neutral, so that's just gonna not click into any of the gears here. And it's gonna be the same for up here on this portion. So then it's gonna just free spin. So you can just push it like you normally would. You wouldn't have any of the rat ratcheting. Or you can move it over to the R on both of these. Another nice thing about the ratcheting mechanism is if you get stuck off-road, you have to disconnect your vehicle, pull away and leave the trailer, you can still use this to help it get through that terrain. It's gonna have a static load limit of 770 pounds. That's gonna be the tongue weight rating for the jack. So that's just it sitting in place with it loaded up on the trailer. Now ours is unloaded today, but they say you can load it up to about 4,400 pounds and still be able to maneuver it around. Another nice feature is it's gonna have a removable magnetic handle. So you just pop it off there. You can store it in the toolbox when not used. That way it's out of the way. So we've talked about what it can do. How bad is it to install? It actually isn't too bad. You have the rails on the trailer. You're just gonna put the channel brackets on one side and run the bolts through. Check out how I did it. One thing to check on your trailer is gonna be the tongue height. So it's gonna work with tongue from two inches all the way up to six inches. What you wanna do is to scout out a good position before. Look at what you have on your trailer. We have a toolbox here. We don't want that in the way when we go to put the brackets in place. So you can set it up along the side. Make sure you don't touch the side with the grease on there. We can hold it and see where it's gonna work, and you also gotta think about when you pull the handle and rotate it up, what it won't make contact with. So we're gonna go about right here and add our brackets. The hardware we have is gonna be a channel bracket. The flat side of the channel bracket is gonna go the inside of our frame in the trailer, and then we're gonna have a bolt. You'll see the head of the bolt slides in that channel. That way you don't have to hold it with one side with a wrench. You can just focus in on tighten down this front side. So we're gonna set it into place there between our toolbox so that's going to help actually hold it in place for me when i go to set this up on top we'll line up with the holes on the jack slide that over there and then we're going to add a nut to hold it in place get that threaded on there i'm going to do the other bracket in the top hole as well it's going to help hold the jack in place so we can get the other bolt installed With those loosely installed, I can get the jack in the position we want it to tighten them down. Then we're gonna come up here with this 19 millimeter socket and tighten down the bolts. You wanna make sure you lift it up a little bit so you see this indention's gonna go around the frame. So that's what I'm aiming for as I bring it in. Make sure you tighten them down evenly across the bracket. You don't want to do one all the way because then you can't make the slight adjustments you might need to get this lined up correctly. With it tightened down and in place, 
we can pull on this and that's going to have the three adjustment heights so you can quickly drop this you don't have to sit there and turn the handle to lower the wheel you can just pull this and then let the wheel come down make sure it goes into the hole so if this was to touch the ground it wouldn't go in the holes like it's supposed to but right about here it's gonna be a lot less cranking to get it go down to the ground With the jack installed and in place, that'll do it for the installation. The handle operates very easily. It's a couple turns, it moves pretty quick. I like that it has that spring loaded so you can already get close to that size automatically. The wheel helps, I push it forward a little bit to get it over the ball. You're gonna have 10 inches of lift in total. Lower it down is really easy. The handle operates very easily well so you can just turn it, it brings it up pretty quick now once it's on there i'm gonna go ahead and throw the latch on the ball that way that's in place so when we get it to the stopping point we can remove the handle then we're gonna pull on the blue lever and rotate it up and out of the way with it in the storage position the handle is really easy to store you can just easily put that in the toolbox but the lever that you're going to use to ratchet it back and forth or move it it's going to be a little bit bigger so you're going to just throw it in the back of the truck behind your seat or on the trailer out of the way overall i was impressed by this jack i wasn't so sure about the ratcheting mechanism and how useful that would be when we went started this but it was nice to be able to move the trailer much easier when it was disconnected just in case i couldn't get the truck maneuvered the way i wanted if it was a tight spot it was a little weird using the buttons that something to get used to is making sure you face the letters together that way it goes away but as you use it you're going to get used to doing that and it's going to become easier and easier now operating the jack i liked that the handle was disconnected that way it's not on there i don't have to worry about it clipping anything at any time it was really easy to operate it go up and down and even slide up and out of the way i like that there's less risk of it hitting anything on the ground and damaging which makes me think since it is heavy duty it's gonna last a long time on here so i like investing in something that i don't have to replace down the line well i think that does it thanks for hanging out and hope this helped